Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznas here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing some weird crafting money making methods and seeing if I can make good money or maybe even great money. Now, disclaimer here, this isn't like a money making guide, it's just kind of an entertaining video of my adventures since I like trying these weird methods as you guys have seen in my videos. And some of these methods will depend on the day and the price of things, whether they work or not. So it's always worth checking first if you want to try these yourself. Now, even if these methods stop working or don't make me a ton of money, I'm going to tell you all how you can find your own methods just like this and make tons of money. So stay tuned for that and I'll reveal exactly how I find all these weird methods that end up making me all this money. And while you're at it, make sure you subscribe for more money making videos like this so you guys can be entertained and maybe make some extra money. So the first thing I decided to try is something I've always wondered about. I mean, the crafting skill has so many random things you can make. And let's be honest, not many people are making much of this stuff. It's kind of, you know, people do the same training method methods. So since I have a ton of cash lying around, I decided I would try to do first some high price crafting products and see if there's any profit to be made in them. Now I thought of trying to make some Hydrix jewelry because, well, one, it's insanely easy to do. It doesn't take long to make jewelry. It takes almost no time at all because you're not going to be making thousands of Hydrix jewelry. And two, it's high priced. And I wondered if it would make a little bit of profit just crafting some of it and enchanting it. So I ended up putting an offer in the GE for some Hydrixes and I I ended up getting six after a little bit of waiting and then I crafted them into Amulet of Souls. This only took me like two minutes. I of course also had to buy six onyxes as well because I had to make them into complete hydrixes. Then I had to make them into amulets and enchant them. And after this, a few minutes, we had six amulets of souls. Of course, I waited a little bit for the hydrixes to buy, but the actual crafting didn't take long at all. I put them in the GE for a little bit, maybe like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and they all ended up selling pretty fast. Now the profit wasn't insane at all. I ended up spending around 385 mil, which you'll see this on screen, uh, which meant any profit was around 3.4 mil. So technically this is crafting, but I did wait a while for the stuff to buy. So honestly, this felt more like a flip than actually doing crafting. But nonetheless, it's maybe worth trying to maybe slow buy some Hydrixes for cheap, but nothing you can do too often. So after this, I decided to stay on the jewelry trend, but I got this idea from recently doing some clue scrolls. I needed to buy some teleports and I noticed the traveler's necklace was not buying at all for a high price and this kept happening for days. It was like 10k or more so I thought maybe I'll try to craft some of these and see how much money I can make. It's pretty low requirements as well and you don't really need much starting money to make these and cluers use them quite a bit. So first I had to buy silver bars and cut opals. This is what you need to basically go and smelt these. So you just go to a furnace, you put in your your silver bars and you take out your opals you run back and forth and just make these necklaces then once you make the necklaces the longest part is pretty much smithing them or crafting them whatever you want to say and then after that you have to basically enchant them so you're going to need of course cosmic runes but this isn't a huge amount of money either i think it was like 100k in cosmic runes and this is actually a little bit faster than actually crafting them so you're just going to enchant them and there you go you have travelers necklaces all in all i think to make all these travelers necklaces. It took me around 22 minutes for everything and basically I ended up going to the GE trying to buy one and they wouldn't buy for like 20k so I didn't want to put it that high so I put them in for what I thought was a decent price and waited and after around an hour or so they did take an hour to sell but after an hour they all sold for 7.5 mil so in total the materials cost us 1.4 mil. We sold everything for 7.5 mil and our profit was around 6 mil. So this comes out to about 14 to 18 mil per hour. 18 mil is technically around what I made, but of course you have to adjust for, you know, how much these are selling for at the time. I'm not sure if they'll sell consistently for over what I sold them for. Sometimes they could sell lower. It really depends on the demand. So this does seem like a really actually good low level method to make some decent money. I mean, 14 to 18 mil an hour, most of it was AFK, like the smithing sort of AFK. I mean, you can't AFK for like 10 minutes, but you can AFK for a little bit. So I found it really chill to do. So for such a low level and cheap method to do, it's pretty good money, 14 to 18 mil. So of course, make sure you check the prices first before you do this, but they're really cheap to make. So I think they're always gonna be somewhat profitable. It just depends how profitable they are and how much demand there are for them. So next I decided to do some 
something a little bit weird. So this is something that costs a lot of money to do. So you're gonna end up spending a ton and this is kind of, I guess you could say risky. If you check the price first, it's not really risky. And I've never actually lost money doing this, but it's kind of, you know, not something you can just camp and do, something you just have to be aware of and maybe it'll be profitable and you'll make some money. So this is making Elite Serenic. So I've done this in the past. Basically, you can make Elite Serenic pieces by buying, of course, some materials. But the key thing is you need Chaotic Spikes, which are bought with Dungeoneering tokens. So every time you make a piece of this, you're going to be using Chaotic Spikes. The body takes about 90,000 Dungeoneering tokens. So you need Ancient Scales. Um, you need a special thread. You need the Nex Essences from the Nex Armor. Uh, so you need a lot of different stuff here. But it takes like no time at all so if you have patience and you buy the materials for a lower price over time and then you put the body in and you sell it and you don't mind spending the dunge tokens this maybe could make you a little bit of money so I decided to test out since I haven't in quite a long time so I went and I bought all the materials actually they bought in about 30 minutes so it's not like I slow bought them for you know overnight or anything it didn't take too long to buy and then basically all I had to do was go to the dunge place buy the five chaotic spikes which cost about 90k dunge tokens and then craft the elite ceramic body so i crafted it made it and i put it in the ge put it for around 435 mil i put it for a little bit more and then after like 15 minutes i decided to lower it a bit and it sold after about 40 minutes or so while i was doing another method which you'll see soon but it sold in 40 minutes and the supplies cost us 409 mil plus 90,000 000 engineering tokens and then we sold it for 434 mil so we made about 25 mil profit and this really took me no time at all now again this is more kind of of a flip because you're crafting one thing it takes like one minute uh, so you're kind of converting your dungeoneering tokens into money uh, but of course this depends on the demand this depends on what you get your materials for how long you are willing to wait uh, there's also like elite tectonic uh, more elite ceramic pieces so there's a lot of fun stuff you can mess around with see if the profit is there but of course if the profit isn't there do not do this but it worked for me for this you know one body and we made a very quick 25 mil while i was doing other stuff so i'll consider that a success albeit kind of a weird method. All right, so the last thing I decided to do was something actually sent to me by someone in my Discord. So this was actually making urns. Now, I've never actually done this, I don't believe, but some of these urns actually sell for a lot over GE price because people want them, they want them fast. Nobody's, not a lot of people are going and just, you know, making their urns. Most people buy them and most people just wanna buy them quick and get on with training. So for this, basically you have to go and you have to buy soft clay. You have to take this soft clay to a potter's wheel and make them into urns. So yeah, I basically went and I did the pottery wheel to make these into urns. That's probably the most click intensive part uh, because you're only making four 14 per inventory, two clay each. So you walk over to the wheel, you spin them, it takes like 10 seconds and you run back to the bank and you repeat. So it's not really AFK at all. And then after you're done making all your urns, then you basically have to go and fire them. And the best way to do that is with the lunar spell because it's much, much faster. The oven is just way too slow. So if you wanna make a good amount of money with this method, you have to use a spell. You're not gonna make nearly as much if you don't. Uh, so it's pretty easy to do that. You, I basically made a preset and then I put the spell on my action bar and then I would just take out the preset click my action bar press enter and be done and it was very very fast to do this as well so all in total it didn't take me much time at all I think around 20 minutes to do these 500 urns from start to finish and in total the materials cost me around 1.3 mil now when I put these on the GE they instantly sold for 12.4 k each if I decided to wait and slow sell them they were instantly buying for around 16 k so I could have made another two mil or so if I decided to wait for them all to sell. But I decided for the sake of this video, I would instant sell them and I still made a great profit around 4.9 mil. This comes out to about 15 mil per hour. But I've got to say, I felt like I was kind of slow. Sometimes I would mess up, not look at my screen and be sitting there for like 20 seconds when doing the wheel. So I feel like it could have been much faster and I could have waited for them to slow sell and make even more money. So I feel like this is 15 to 20 
20 mil very, very easily. There's tons of different types of urns. So even if people do mining urns, there's so many different types. So if one urn isn't as profitable or isn't selling, try looking at other urns. There's so many that I think you'll be able to find one that can make you a decent amount of profit. And the XP is actually pretty decent. You're getting a decent amount because you're getting the crafting XP and the magic XP. I think I got a few hundred K in each, so not too bad. And you can make some decent money. I also use a steam battle staff. Uh, so I just use astral and earth runes that will save you a good amount of money on the fire spell as well. So all in all, I thought these methods were pretty fun, pretty interesting to try out. And the way that I find these weird methods, what I wanted to tell you guys about is I will basically go and look at things that people need, that the demand is kind of high, but people doing it is kind of low. So like the traveler's necklaces, a lot of these things I just find randomly throughout my time. Like I was doing clues and happened to notice the price of that necklace. But another thing you can do is go and look through the skill logs sometime, go and look through the crafting logs. There's so many different items that you can make. You can look through the Herbler log. You can look through a bunch of stuff and see if there's any profit to be made. Sometimes I'll even go and look at weird mini games or just browse the GE for weird items, see how they're obtained, if they're kind of expensive. And sometimes there's a lot of money to be made there. I did this and found out the gnome scarf was worth a lot of money and tested that. You can see that in this video here if you want to see some other unique money makers that I tried, some stuff that you would consider dead content, but that actually makes you a really good amount of money. So you can see that on the right side of the screen. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.